What a nice weather. Clear skies. Tonight I want to do something special. I want to do a dual setup using my Apo, 90mm Apo and my 127mm Aperture Maxitoff telescope uh, with 1500mm focal lengths. Some uh, months ago when I bought my new Apo telescope um, I said I will use both telescope in the future. So I'm very happy with this telescope. So, but let's speak about my new telescope. And of course, I will also do uh, videos using my Maxitov in the future. So I will use both of them. I was really um, yeah, testing the Apo uh, so many times. And actually, I, since several months, I didn't use my Maxitov telescope. I'm so sorry I didn't use you. <laughs> So many new things here um, with the dual setup and different things I will try out. So I hope this will work. <laughs> um, last time I did some planetary imaging. Um, it was actually the first time uh, I imaged uh, Jupiter. Here it is. Yes, 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 yes. I can see some bands. <laughs> Uh, I was really new to the hobby or to this advanced hobby. Um, yeah, I did actually as a photography uh, maybe 20 years ago, or I did this uh, with the um, webcam. And yeah, but then I had a longer break. Anyways, um, so I would use this uh, 2.25 fold Bado Beta Bado lens. This one, I hope you can see it. Yep. And I will also use, as I said before, this is an atmospheric dispersion corrector. If you're new to astronomy, astrophotography, um, that's actually two prisms um, which correct the, yeah, the color fringing, let's say. Because due to the atmosphere, you have different uh, diffractions of different wavelengths and the atmospheric dispersion corrector can help to reduce this uh, using two prisms so you just have to rotate them to each other and you can uh, correct this color fringing this i will use today and by the way this atmospheric dispersion character will not just reduce um, the color fringing it will also um, yeah by the way <laughs> Um, sharpen your image. So this is not only for color correction, but also will help you to uh, produce sharper images or videos, let's say. Um, yeah, so I would try to mount this here. Um, this is my 385 MC color camera, planetary camera. That's the uh, 2.5 fold Barlow lens. Okay, then we have our atmospheric dispersion character here. My 285MC color camera. Uh, let's take the USB cable here. Okay. Tighten this here. I think we are ready to go. I don't know, maybe I have to remove the Barlow and the atmospheric dispersion corrector again for a star alignment, but I don't know yet. Let's see. Maybe with the Barlow lens it's a little... it's more difficult to find a star, but let's see. It's really cold. I think it's um, minus two or something. Um, Celsius, of course. 
Um, it will be very cold uh, tonight, I think minus seven, of course Celsius, <laughs> degrees Celsius. To the metric system. <laughs> and here, okay, uh, coming back to the connection of the Maxitov telescope. So this is actually very easy. Uh, I will use my um, hand controller for the mount and we'll do a two star alignment and then uh, yeah I have a power cable here it's already connected and then I have my um, CWO ASI 385MC camera uh, planetary camera uh, with only yeah one USB cable here so that's no problem I just put it in my uh, laptop and that's it and here I will use a sharp cap or fire capture I'm not sure yet completely out of focus <laughs> Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is the second night today I will image Mars again. Today I will change something and for the first time, for the very first time, I will uh, mount my Maxitov telescope uh, onto my uh, EQ5 Pro mount. And then uh, I will use fire capture. And my hopes are uh, that I don't have to resync, at least not so often. Today I will try the for the first time not a 2.5 volt Barlow lens but a 5 volt Barlow, Barlow, Barlow lens. That means you have a higher magnification and the mass using my old mount from the Maxudov uh, mass would be even faster out of uh, out of my field of view so this, uh, that's uh, actually the main reason why I will try this mount today. Yeah. So instead of this setup I will use this setup tonight and hope for the best.
Thank you for watching and see you next time. Clear skies.